you can see um, a picture of Nicola Surgeon. In a minute, I'm going to play what her members said in Parliament. They're saying that free EU um, tuition till 2021, I think it is, in Scotland, but they don't do it for English students because they don't like us. And no matter what happens, they're going for an independence referendum. I'm not being funny. Nicola Surgeon would join Hitler if she thought it would get her independence. Nicola Surgeon does not care about the Scottish people. She cares about independence. Well, it's not even independence. She believes in being an EU state. This is the problem. Scotland are not going for independence. They're going to be a member of the EU. When you sign up to the EU now, you have to join the Schengen area. You have to join the single currency. But Scotland is saying, no, they're not going to have to do that. Of course they are. Only an idiot would think not. So all this crap in Parliament that they want independence, they don't want independence. Do not mix that up. They want Scotland to be a member of the EU. Even though... I think 75% 75 of their trade goes to the UK, but they don't mind bankrupting Scotland. They don't mind destroying you even worse. Your school records going down is the worst in the country and stuff like that. Just for independence to be with the EU, so it's not independence. But as usual, they're MPs, members of parliament, political people, who will lie to you so you believe what they are saying. Go and check it out for yourself. Don't just believe my word. Go and check it out for yourself what the SNP is saying. They do not want independence. They want to be a member of the EU. That's not independence. I respect independence. That's what we want to be from the EU. I do not respect people that are lying to tell you that they want to be independent when they want to join the EU. Cheers for watching. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Scotland's First Minister has pledged to match three EU student fees through to 2021. Will the Prime Minister follow this example, or is she determined to build a bigger, hostile environment? Minister. We've made clear about the position for EU students in this year, and make, we'll make uh, the uh, announcements in good time for students for future years. But I think I'm right in saying that the, uh, what the Scottish Government has actually done is said that EU students can have free tuition up to 2024, but English students will have to pay. Ian Blackford. Quite, quite remarkable, Mr Speaker, because it's the Tories that have introduced fees for English students. Mr Speaker, when it comes to leaving the EU, the Prime Minister's vision is blinded by ideology. In a no deal, in a no deal, her government intends to curb EU student visas to three years. Mr Speaker, Scottish university courses are generally for four years. The Scottish Government and Scottish universities have asked repeatedly for this simple change to be made to reflect our circumstances. Will the Prime Minister confirm today that her government will extend visas to four years to allow for Scottish university students, or will she once again completely ignore the wishes and the interest of Scotland, as she has done right through this whole shambolic Brexit process? Prime Minister! I say to the right honourable gentleman, I understand that the situation is not quite the, uh, as uh, problematic for those students as he sets out, given the ability to convert visas, but he started off his question by saying that the government should not be driven by ideology. This is from the SNP. <laughs> the SNP. If the SNP are worried... If the SNP are worried about students in Scottish universities, they need to ensure that they're spending more time improving the quality of education in Scotland and less time obsessing about independence. 